is Kobe Sam, all the way from Ghana. That was that's why, by the way, you're saying we're representing our own individual flags. You know, I hope know. I'm holding mine properly before I get a few phone calls here and there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, representing our VP, Kenya yeah. Accra Ghana Connection, our VP. Yeah, you know. Thank you so much for digressing the studios here on Good Morning Kenya. Asante, that Asante. is a lovely track, and I've noticed the vibe to most of your songs is, you know, groovy. Mm. Yeah. I was looking for a word. Thank you for helping, assisting me with that word. Yeah. Groovy is the word I was yeah. looking for. Yeah. Uh, is that like the tone of most of your EPs, most of your albums? Um, most of um, Ghanaians, they love to dance. They, they love to mm. be happy. And you see, um, Christianity, we try to represent Christianity in a more vibely way mm. to make it look like Christianity is not boring. So we give you the sound that you probably get in the secular world so that you can make Mary still serving God. Serving God is yeah. it. But there, I remember there's somewhere. Um, but there, see, at the, my Bible knowledge is that low. I remember David danced until his clothes, clothes. fell off. Yep. Exactly. So I think we need to get back to that. And thank you so much for bringing us back to that type of music. Exactly, Kobe yeah. Sam, your name is Samuel, first and foremost. Yeah. Kobe Sam. Let, let's talk about the inception of that name because of the, it's K O B B B Y S A L M. Yeah. Kobe Sam. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about that. So um, I would want to actually give big shout outs to Michael Bogla. Mm -hmm. um, Godzen, Godzen. You, you call? Michael Bogla, he, he was my. Um, previous manager okay so um when i started when i wanted to start um gospel music we wanted to find get a name that connects with first of the bible which will represent and also my name mm. so i'm um, in in ghana when you're called when you're born on tuesday you're called kwabna so kwabna in a more fancy way is called kobe kwabna kwabna yeah yeah so in a more fancy way it's called kobe yes then so um kobe and psalm the mm. book of psalms mm. but we just didn't want it to be just specific psalms p s e l m so we decided to take the p off and add the psalm to kobe because to of kobe course psalm. you are samuel yes and, and uh, you know exactly when someone looks at you uh it, you, it didn't just start out of nowhere. It's from 2015 you've been in the grind in the music yeah. industry yeah. uh you started with your own label yeah something that is actually unheard of because yeah. most of the time when someone starts they're like okay where's the manager where's the you know where are the music producers exactly you started with your own label how did yeah. that happen how, did you first start your label then do music or did you do music then was like let me just do it by myself so um we i started everything by myself because i believe that um the first visionary as as, as an artist is yourself. Mm -hmm. um, so if you have the vision, you, you can just kick start. And God being so good, I had great people, I had great minds with me. Um, my manager, Pascal, and the whole, my whole team, the guests with his family, um, who actually came to support the idea. So it, it actually made it very simple and easy for me um, running the journey because um, I work on the side and if I, if, if I have to be on a label, mm -hmm. um, I have to work on their demands and it wouldn't be very um, comfortable with me. So getting this family on board is, is actually amazing. But you're quite busy and uh, your, your background is in journalism. You have a degree in journalism mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Do you feel like it's assisted you in your musical journey in the, you know, representing yourself? Yeah, I think it does every mm -hmm. time, especially when it's time to um, connect with the press and everything you you get the right um um way you'd want to pre to be represented in the press and how you'd want um the audience to actually see you as a as a brand so mm. it's really helped me in in my work the, there's something i need you to answer because in kenya mm -hmm. a lot of people are saying west africans know how to represent themselves mm -hmm. in the music industry more than kenyans do you share the same sentiment? I, I, know, I know you have a few favorites. For instance, you, 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 you have a, a, a new song coming out today yeah. with Jabidi, Fabijie. Make sure you check that out on YouTube. But on an honest note, what do you feel? Uh, do you feel like we need more PR? Um, I think it's not just with Kenyans, but it's, it's with the whole African, African music. Um, um, we Ghanaians, and let me say Ghanaians and Nigerians, actually love to move um, out more because we, we feel our sound is more very global so when 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 I do a song there's a likelihood someone in Kenya can love it mm. um, first off the language is very universal and 
and but I can't really speak for um, the Kenyans because um, I'm yet to really listen to most of the songs. Uh -huh. But if the song is in English, I've driving around. I've been listening to some Kenyan songs, and I think they've been amazing. But I don't know why um, they don't reach out mm. to other pl platforms. But I can talk for some few people that I know, um, like Jabidi, who's been to Ghana more than t more than t um, two times, um, just to push his craft. So I think it's everywhere. Some people are doing it great. Some people are also very comfortable in their zone. Mm. Yeah, I think th that's the perfect word to use. Comfortability. People are comfortable thinking, let me make the music, mm. people will come to me. Yeah. And that's not the case. Like, for instance, you're from Ghana and you're here in Kenya yeah. on Good Morning Kenya. Yeah. Let's talk about now the music industry in terms of the vibe of the music industry. Uh, people are saying support is a key issue, especially during this time of COVID. Mm -hmm. uh, are you facing the same challenges in Ghana? Um, support as in support? In support in terms of the fans. The fans are not uh, paying for the shows anymore. Okay. People are saying, hey, our pockets are kind of funny. So they're not paying for the shows as much. They're not buying the albums as much. Are you facing the same uh, issues in Ghana? Um, I, I think um, it, 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 it depends on how you sell, you sell the stuff. Mm -hmm. um, everything boils down to marketing. Um, if, if there are artists who are selling um, 3 million copies in a day after release, then I think everything boils down to marketing. If you're able to market your stuff well, um, um, it, people would p purchase it. The, the, the most and the thing we can talk about prob probably will be financing, which is, which is very integral when it comes to marketing. And if we, we talk about that, then it means that the corporate bodies, the, the um, government, everybody can, um, even some t talk of gospel, the churches can also come and support some of these artists to make sure that these things would work. Because um, talk of gospel, whatever we are preaching is still um, preaching and winning souls so if i'm in church a and i'm i'm, I'm doing music for um for for the souls in the church it's beautiful that the church would support me uh, as an artist in the church because i'm um, as aside everything i'm in the church when, I, when when they're able to um support me well and i'm able to become a global brand now it, it, it indirectly helps the church too because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. people would connect that individual with the church and you know in as much as we go to church to serve god some people also come to church because of good music mm -hmm. so when they know okay kobe psalm is in church a they would want to come and enjoy good music from kobe psalm because he's in the church so i think it's high time we start purchasing and buy into some some of these ideas <laughs> like i just exercise for like the whole week <laughs> but then my gym instructor do not disturb my phone i'll, I'll block you <laughs> call me some you have What's so much that? energy you have so thank much you, energy thank you, thank you, i'm trying you. to keep up with you man thank you thank you thank you how Try. do you do this how do you do this i think it's a gift it's a blessing from god so 
we just keep at it. Uh, I'm out of breath. What? <laughs> and when you go to perform, this is something I've always wanted to ask a real performer. When you go to perform, you have to do song after song after song after song. What's the preparation like? So um, it depends on a lot of things. It depends on first the audience you're going to serve. So if it's a corporate, pe they are corporate people. It, def it depends on the song you serve them. If they are youth, it depends on the song you you're going to serve them. If the if the show is in the church, mm -hmm. it depends on the song you're going to serve them. <coughs> if it's in the street, it depends on the song you're going to serve. So you actually um, get your catalog, know the song that will fit which audience, and first off then also pray about it. Sometimes the song you, you least think would work at a particular place might be the go a song God wants you to um, perform at that place to save the souls there. So Interestingly it enough, depends. I, I've noticed this because I've been, you know, I grew up in the church. Is it true that, you know, the church is more hyped than anywhere else you can perform? The, the church is more hyped? Mm. In terms of in, the, the energy that you receive? En Truthfully, truthfully, I'll say yes, because they, uh, most, of, most of the times, they understand the message more. Mm. They understand the message more. When you go to, um, let's say, an outdoor event, not everyone is Christian. Mm. You get it. So it will, it will take a while for somebody to actually jump to the song. And probably they will jump to maybe the rhythm or the tempo, not even getting the message. But when you are in church, they, they jump to the temple, they jump to the, uh, to the rhythm, and they get the message. Mm. So it makes it like a whole package. Next up, of course, there's the collab that you're doing with Jabidi. Yep. Kenya representing, of course. Thank you, Jabidi, for representing Kenya. Mm -hmm. And, of course, with Kobe Sam. Let's yep. talk about the collab. How did you guys meet up? How did this link up happen? So um, Jabidi has been to Ghana a few times like i mentioned earlier in 2019 he came to ghana we had the african gospel awards and um, so um most gospel artists um from all over africa flew to ghana for the event and jabidi also came through and that was the first time i met jabidi so the second time was last year he um he came back to ghana and i was like yo the first time you came we couldn't do anything but mm. this time we have to be intentional about it we went to the studio and we just consciously created a vibe and when the beast started playing the only thing that could come from from our mouth was favage 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 which actually means in exchange of nipe ni kupe right nipe ni kupe yeah cheese <laughs> yeah that's what it actually means so mm -hmm. um that's the whole the whole inspiration behind the song is when your praise goes up blessings come down mm. so for on it's it's more um, therapeutic so the more you are acting it up the more the blessings they fall on you amen yeah. that's that's amazing thank you that's a good message for the people back at home come as you are yeah the blessings will come yeah nipe ni kupe nipe ni kupe mm. mm -hmm. Nice. What's next for Kobe Sam? So, how long are you in the country first and foremost? Um, f um, we'll stay till till the ending of of the month. Yeah. So, um, yesterday we shot a video to the song, um, Fabeji, mm -hmm. myself, Jabi D, in in the in, in the town. This I I learned that's the biggest slum in 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 the whole Africa. Mm -hmm. Kibra, and, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it was it was a beautiful experience. The way the skies were, the way yo. I, I just can't wait to share the video with everybody. So hopefully by tomorrow, mm. the video should be ready um, out on my YouTube but page. Even before we get mm. uh, Fabijie tomorrow on YouTube, mm. uh, we're going to be able to sample it before you leave. Sure, sure. Be yes, good. and before that, people can find you on social media platforms, yeah. on all social media all platforms, social platforms media at uh, Kobe Sam. That's K O B B Y S A L M, Kobe Sam. Yeah. And of course, there's so much music. Like we said, the guy started in 2015. So much music. And since know. then, how many EPs have you done? Um, I think three EPs. Three EPs. One album. One album. Um, how many singles? I can count. <laughs> you have been busy. Yeah, I can count. In, in, Kenya, in Kenya, we call that Kujituma. 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 Una kujituma. <laughs> you see, we're learning a few things. It's yeah, a cultural you know, exchange yeah, happening yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. It's a, it's a beautiful yeah. thing. Any, anything that you would like to tell the people back at home who are watching you, experiencing you for the first time, uh, especially the, the Kenyan, the new Kenyan fans. So, um, 
I want to say hello to everyone watching, and I'm happy to be to be here in Kenya. Yesterday, myself, Linda Brand, and my whole team, we actually took some special ugali, and I really loved it. <laughs> yeah, I really loved it. So we're actually enjoying our stay in Kenya. You can support, um, follow on all social media, Kobisom, and the new music, Fabeji featuring Jabidi, is also out. Hopefully, tomorrow, the video will also be out. Keep supporting. And one thing is, I'm here in Kenya working um, out on, on projects, so all, all the artists, I, I'm reaching out to them. If they want to um, reach out to me, they can reach out to lend the brand and, and get connected to me so that we could work. Amazing. Yeah. And of course, that is Kobe Sam and Velo Meskia is here in the country. Gospel artist, Mr. Chelewe. Even a secular, and I do secular artist, Mole, maybe I'm a coca leo. I'm speaking like a preacher. Maybe I'm a coca leo. Now, when I take a kufanya, Wimbo Takatifu, Kutana na Kobe Sam, at Kobe Sam. And make sure you go to his uh, social media platforms, subscribe to his YouTube, and before that, Velo Meskia, there's a new track by Jabidi. Actually, it's Kobe Sam featuring Jabidi. Yep. Called Fabi Gie. Nipi ni kupi. Fabi Gie. We're going to premiere it right now on Good Morning Kenya. Take it away. <laughs> So you're going to do it after me, right? Hey, yes, who this? Mr. 